everybody. So I'm here with my new friend Russell, not Russell Sprouts, and he's been <laughs> teaching me how to make wool thread. Because I've been wondering, how did people a long time ago get their clothes? They couldn't just go to the store and get them, they had to make them. So first, they had to get a sheep. Then they had to beat the sheep. Then they had to shear the sheep. That means they took all the fleece, that's the outer puffy stuff, off the sheep. And they would lay it out nice and flat, and they would have to pull off the organic matter. That means poop. Then they would have to clean it and soap it and clean it and soap it and do it four times. It took many days to get it clean, but it still wasn't all the way clean. So they would take the fleece and they would have to pull out what they call the dreadlock part. They just threw that away. We don't need that. And then they would put it on these combs that my friend Russell has. And they're super sharp nails, so you had to be really careful with it. And they would take the combs and, yes, they would. And just go through it. Oh, so they would go through. Kind of looks like Wolverine's claws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you would just hold it like this and you would go through. Just like, just like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, after a while, it would get all that grass and yucky stuff out until you would get a poof ball of wool. And you would take that poof ball of wool and put it around a, what are we calling this? Drop spindle. Drop spindle. And you would hold the poof ball and you would wrap it around and you would spin it, stop it, rub your hand up, give it a little tug to pull out more of the wool, spin it, stop it, pull your hand up to pull out a little bit more wool, and then you would get a ball of thread, wool thread, that you can make your clothes out of. Wow, I am sure I'm glad we get to go to the store to get our clothes. <laughs> Thanks, Russell. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye.